quite some laps ago, Gary Scott very quickly pulled off the circuit and took car number six, the second mobile dealer team entry into the transporter. We don't know what the problem is there. He's just vanished. So Brock flies the mobile flag solo at the moment. And I think he's about to be dusted off by Jim Richards. And look at Richards and the braking ability of this M3 up on the outside of Brock. Tries to steal some road from him. A very hard way to do it. But he gets power to the ground very quickly in the little VM. Now, this is a very interesting test. He's got the inside advantage, but it puts him on the wrong side of the road when they get to Coca-Cola. And in theory, Brock should have the horsepower. <laughs> Brock enjoying this. I'm sure he was almost waving at Jim as they went down the back sweeper. These guys went to multiple James Hardy victories in the 70s. Separate teams now, and no love lost at all. Look at Brocky glancing in the rear view mirror. It's a big eyeful of car number three, the JPS BMW M3, perhaps the most impressive new car in the series this year. It's certainly the only one to have actually shown uh, what it can do. And they're developing the car all the time. They've spent a lot of time out at Amaru Park in the lead up to this series with Frank Gardner and test driver Ludwig Finnaber and they have been working very very hard and it's obviously paying off and Jim again up on the outside will see a carbon copy manoeuvre get shoved out wide has the inside for the next long slow right hand kick Brock should have the horsepower again and it'll all happen once more we'll follow this closely I'm really sure they were having a conversation last time they went down here Brocky having a look out the window if that's your best kit, you need some more. Well, Jim's in the left-hand drive spot, and Rocky in the right, so they're pretty close. Now, Richard's using the braking ability of this car very nicely. If he can get this manoeuvre, he's done it nicely. But no, <laughs> drops the right rear into the gravel. Bit of rally crossing, and we'll have to go back to the drawing board once more. He's having a terrific scrap here. Well, I thought he was going to stay on the outside. That wasn't the spot to stay. Oh, but, close. but Jim is just filling the mirrors for Peter Brock and he's desperately trying to get the inside run up here Brock is not going to move off line Brock goes for it again Richards is going to take a very deep hard breath here and go in almost uh, tick if he can snatch that line from him and ultimately take some road off him and really jam Brock's nose into the inside of the corner he'll get away with this because then he can cover his tracks coming out but at the moment he's always going to have Brock as a nightmare as they come up to the left hander at Coca-Cola because he's got the inside running and he's just got a couple of extra miles an hour there they go again door handle to door handle round two well this time he's got room if he can just close that gap I think he has very successfully so Jim Richards up a slot using every centimetre of the road well, what a fine performance from him up to third place. A genuine giant killer act from uh, Jimmy Richards here today at Simmons Plains. Glenn Seaton sits in behind Peter Brock. He'll be the next one to attack.